Today I'm going to listen to I'm Not Okay by My Chemical Romance for the first time. Let's do it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video where I listen to your favorite songs for the first time. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and let me know what song you want me to listen to and let me know in the comments below. So today I'm listening to another My Chemical Romance song. I haven't done that in a long time, so I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm Not Okay is a big hit of theirs apparently. So I've been going through a pretty big phase right now where um, I've just been listening to all these old My Chemical Romance songs that I reacted to. Uh, Teenagers, Ghosts of You, Famous Last Words, uh, Welcome to the Black Parade. And they're all on my Spotify playlist. So um, let's see if I'm going to add this one as well. So here we go, team. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> let's get right to it. Here we go. Andy, Audrey Hepburn, Fangoria, Harry Houdini, and Croquet. You can't swim, you can't dance, and you don't know karate. Face it, you're never going to make it. I don't want to make it. I just want to. mute there that palm mute on the guitars is like a classic staple in alternative punk um punk alternative um really anything like 2000s rock it's it's a staple it's one of that bit because i think it missed some writing there you go with better rough this way for all the dirty looks the photographs your boyfriend took remember when you broke your foot from jumping is so raspy it's so cool it's so raspy and uh when he said okay there it's just the o it was so gritty but he does it so good he's such a good singer um the backing vocals are great um classic punk type of like chorus very catchy very uh jumpy like yeah, i just picture everyone jumping uh at the same time pretty much like some 41 very 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 catchy chorus um, let's rewind that just a bit. I also like, side note, in the music video, as I'm watching right now, where it's like, have you ever felt wrong? And then the next time it said wrong, duh, with, uh, with the ending there at the ED. I love it. What will it take to show you that it's not the life it seems? I've told you time nice and time backing. again you sing the words, but You have one palm muting and you got one playing um, kind of like power chords, more so just on two strings, not really power chords. I'm just rewind that so you can hear. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you have any headphones, the right guitar is just power chording, or excuse me, um, palm muting, and the left guitar is um, kind of like a little pattern. It's like, Dan, uh, I'm not going to pretend to do it, <laughs> but it's doing a pattern, and I think he's just doing it on the G and the D string, if not the G and the B string. Pretty sure it's G and D. Um, and uh, it's a very, it's a nice, like, they complement each other very nicely. Means to be a joke and look, another line without a hook. I held you close as we both shook for the last time. Take a good hard love, no.
watch that scream. Okay. Gerard. Oh, okay. So good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Gerard. Gerard. He's so good. He's so raspy. He's so gritty. He's just so freaking. Um, he's just so good. Like, he's such a good front man. He just seems like. I just picture. He's kind of like Billy Joel Armstrong. And I know I made that comparison before, and other people have said that other people have made that comparison. But he is. He's so upbeat. Even though, like, that song is. It's pretty. It's a pretty. I don't want to say depressing song, but it's like a. He's pretty much speaking out to the individuals. Uh, at oh, one point, we felt this way, where we felt, you know, whether we're wronged or we're not okay, or no pun intended. Um, we're angry, we're anxious, we're mad, we're sad, we're alone. Like, we've all felt that one time in our life or another. Um, this is speaking out a lot to, like, the... the um, individuals, especially in like high school and elementary school, is targeted more so to them um, who are being bullied, who are being um, kind of like shoved to the side, who are not cool enough to be in the cliques and not cool enough to be part of whatever popular kid group there is. That's what this song is targeting, and that's who this song is targeting. Um, and I think if I was a, a you know a ten or fifteen year old kid and I heard this, um, it would kind of be like a like a relief. That he like, man, I feel like he's talking to me, and that's super, super cool. That that people can actually look at this or listen to this song and look at this band and feel like they're talking to them and speaking to them and saying like, hey, listen, it's okay. Um, you know, it's okay to not be okay, and, and, and you may feel this way now, but just keep pushing, keep striving. Um, you'll you'll be okay. You're not you're not alone. You know, a lot of people feel the way you do, and I just think that's super cool. And Gerard's notes, the dude's freaking. The way he rasps his voice, um, it's so it's almost like it's so naturally. You know the way I explain, I, I can kind of relate it to. It's like you know when uh, you wake up and your voice is raspy first thing in the morning, and you don't help like you can't help it. You just you just sound raspy. You sound gritty. Um, he just puts notes behind that. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. He just puts notes behind it, and um, it's super cool. I, I love that song. That was such a fun and upbeat song for such a depressing meaning, um, or or not a depressing meaning, I should say, but kind of like a um, for a song that's more uh, darker and 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 not like the lyrics aren't exactly like you know the happiest. Like it's it's kind of a dark song. But at the end of the day, uh, the the ending of like feeling that you're not alone in that situation is what makes it upbeat. So super, super cool. I, I love the song. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching another video. If you want me to listen to one of your favorite songs, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.